WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight as soon as the Tiger Financial News Network update is completed here at noon Eastern Time. Dow is down 436 at 26,000, right exactly, 26,000. Um, this is quite a sharp sell-off in that, you remember, we're always looking at, let me just do this quickly, I don't often get a chance to do that. We'll show you, we're always looking at patterns here. Pattern that is really most important is the arch formation here on the left and then the cup formation. But also when you rally and then fail and you come back and retest that left side low or you rally to the upside, retest the top and then come back down. Let me just go straight to what we're looking at here. Uh, this is the arch formation. And what we had is a little arch formation that went to six points below the recovery high of the 23rd of April at 26,695, it went to 26,689. Double top, pullback, very sharp pullback, broken the support on the left side of 26,000. Uh, we're going to be looking at what happens next because this is this is quite serious based now on the daily chart. Look at the S&P, both the S&P and the Dow over 1.6% down. The uh, S&P is down 50 points, 49 points at 2883. Very sharp pullback from the 29.49 high. And now we'll look at the QQQ, which is the NDX 100. This is down almost 2% at 186.21. This is the Invesco QQQ Trust Series NDX 100, basically down 3.72 at uh, 186.22. It's just it was taken out the 186.29 low that was made back in the end of April. We'll look at the IWM, which has been holding way better than the others. It's down 1.7% now at 157.95. This is going to be very important for me because the IWM has been showing strength. And even here, it's got a little bit more strength than the others. How it handles the 156 to 155 area is going to be important. Gold is attempted to rally. It's up 1.5 right now. It should really, under these circumstances, you would expect normally that gold would be up probably about uh, eight or 10 points. It's not, the dollar is still holding firm. We'll go through all of this and the patterns that we're looking at. Look at that beautiful up channel in the, in the dollar. It's kind of stuck at that 97.65 area. We'll talk about crude oil, the TLT bonds. This is gonna be very important. I'll be back straight after these messages for the Tiger Technicians Hour. <laughs> 